episode 2017. Yeah. So, uh, I think it was uh, about last week I started a new medication, clonazepam. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you the effects of the medication right now. Do you like my garlic breath? Like my garlic breath. <sighs> mm. I guess she doesn't like my garlic breath. Hello, people. I'm on clonazepam. I'm trying this because my neurologist to adjust this because I was having the small seizures and the big seizures and all the seizures types that I have because for some weird reason I get all of them. Okay, so this anti-epileptic medication that my neurologist prescribed to me, um, I've noticed, um, my memory is a little woo, and I feel a little, okay, maybe a lot drunk on the medication, uh, I've been taking one in the morning and um, I haven't had a seizure the first day I still had a seizure but I think that's because of the stress and the drugs and the but after that I haven't had a seizure since which is pretty good but you know that's what happened with my other drugs So I like this medication because it makes me feel like I don't really have to worry about things. Like I wouldn't say that I don't have a care in the world with this because I, like I care, but I don't worry. You know what I mean? I don't stress out about stuff, and so I think that's. That's why I haven't been having seizures because I stress out so much and it makes me not stress out. Did you look like a freaking zombie? No, I'm a happy zombie. <laughs> well, at least it's been working so far. I've been feeling less like crap in my whole body since I've been taking this medication. I still have a lot of pain.
like, why can't people give cuts openly to people? Because, you know, I think people would be happier. People, some people are so sad that maybe they just need a hug. But some people are so sad that they need a hug so bad, but they don't realize it. days ago, Wednesday exactly, uh, it was an atonic seizure, and my theory is that the medication uh, dulled down uh, a mal seizure that I was supposed to have, but uh, my mom has different theories, but regardless, I have no idea. Um, my skin has kind of gotten a bit crappy since I've been taking the medication, and um, yeah, uh, Besides not having headaches after the absence seizures, um, still generally having headaches during the day, um, still having uh, a lot of absence seizures, and still pretty much you know just feeling like crap. And uh, yeah, that, that's how 2017 is going so far. Now, as for going raw vegan, for my quest to become fit and have better skin and be awesome. Uh, well, more awesome than I already am, of course, duh. Um, yeah, we're trying, well, at least I'm making the best effort to get rid of all of the, like, processed, cooked foods, whatever, that's still in the house, uh, still in the fridge, so, yeah, I'm doing that. The contest starts on Sunday, so, uh, hopefully by then I'll have, uh, fat myself enough, uh, <laughs> to just go completely raw and... You know, of course, I will, like, transition myself, like, eat lots of fruits and vegetables raw with whatever I'm eating, um, so it's not, like, a shock to my system, so I don't, like, you know, uh, so I don't feel like I've gone to Taco Bell and, uh, eaten some spicy burrito with, like, you know, a million spicy meter, you know? It's just, transition time is gonna be a lot easier for me. So I still got tortillas, enough for, like, you know, today and tomorrow. I've got some capusta, which is 
uh, basically pickled red cabbage and mancinilla olives. Uh, you see it's a full thing, but it'll be gone by tomorrow. Uh, some nutritional yeast to make this burrito really good. So a hilarious start to 2017 with this girl just lying down like this. Like, what even is this? Do you know how to dog? There you go. Okay, so with the burrito, I'm going to be having my beautiful, delicious cake. The last of it, finally. Um, it's half raw, so, you know, it, it's alright. Uh, and a whole box of beautiful raspberries. Who knows, maybe I'll have a side of a whole carton of extra pulp orange juice. <laughs> so, for the filling of this beautiful two burritos, uh, some rice and potatoes that my mom cooked, uh, along with some vegan ground beef, and uh, I believe pepper jack diet cheese, uh, along with the manzanilla olives, the capusta, some nutritional yeast, salt, garlic powder, and some beautiful lemon juice mixed with some coconut oil for that buttery taste. Now I know what you're thinking. Virginia, that's a lot of food. But girl, I'm hungry. And on top of that, surprisingly, I haven't gained any weight eating like this. This much food? Yeah. So, I'm good. As long as it's vegan, I'm good. Now, the losing weight part. That's where the raw vegan comes in. Isn't that just lovely? Now mix it all together and mash the potatoes. Just so, you know, everything mixes well together. Now back onto the topic of the clonazepam. Well, aside from, you know, feeling like I got hives pretty much like half an hour after taking it, you know, getting itchy and, you know, just feeling uncomfortable and, you know, being incapacitated for quite a few hours after taking it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. It's absolutely great. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm slowly getting off of it because, uh, yeah, um, I'd rather be a functioning person and, um, you know, not have any allergic reactions or any, you know, mess up things going on. Uh, so, yeah, that's how that's going. Now, doesn't that look lovely? Probably not, but it's gonna taste absolutely delicious. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a Love you guys. Bye.